Most of the time in CSS, we control corners using border radius. But did you know we can also control how corners are drawn? In this video, we'll explore the new CSS corner shape property, see how it changes corners beyond rounded edges, and create a simple corner animation. By the end of the video, I'll also show a real example using corner shape, including a blinking star animation. Since corner shape is a new feature, browser support is still limited and currently works only in Chromium-based browsers, with experimental features enabled. Let's get started. We usually create rounded corners using border radius, but now there's a new CSS property called corner shape that lets us control how corners are drawn. It includes values like scoop, bevel, notch, square, round, and squircle, opening up new creative possibilities. For example, squircle gives a modern look between round and square, round creates standard rounded corners, and square gives sharp 90-degree corners, which are the default when no border radius is applied. Now, let's try scoop, which creates a concave curved corner. Changing it to notch gives a 90-degree concave square cut, and finally, bevel creates straight diagonal corners. All of these shapes work within the size set by border radius, so increasing the radius makes the effect stronger. A bigger radius means a stronger effect. If I set border radius to 100% with corner shape, scoop, it creates a sparkle-like star shape that looks great for glowing or magical effects. With bevel can create diamond and even hexagon shapes at larger radius values. In short, corner shape controls the shape and border radius controls the size of that shape. Instead of using a named corner shape value, you can also use the super ellipse function. For example, super ellipse 0 works the same as bevel with no visible difference. The super ellipse function lets you create smooth, mathematically controlled corners between a square and a circle, giving you precise control over how rounded or squarish the corners are. A value of 1 creates a round shape, 2 creates a squircle, negative 1 creates a scoop, positive infinity creates a square, and negative infinity creates a notch. You can use one or more corner values at the same time. For example, using notch squircle creates a shape like this. When you use two values, the first applies to the top left and bottom right corners, and the second applies to the top right and bottom left corners. With three values, super ellipse, minus 1.6, square, and scoop, the first applies to the top left corner, the second to the top right and bottom left corners, and the last to the bottom right corner. Changing the super ellipse value to negative 2.2 creates a 90 degree curved corner. When you use four values, they apply to the corners in clockwise order. We'll take this boring shape and make it look awesome using corner shape. In this example, I'll change the popular tag shape, update the button shapes on all cards, and add a blinking star animation to the Start Pro button. This is the HTML for the cards. Each card uses an article tag as the parent container with the class price card, and the most popular plan also has an extra class called price card featured. The most popular text uses the badge class, and the button uses the BTN class, with BTN primary added only for the featured plan. All the CSS for these cards is written in the style.css file. First, these cards are already designed using corner shape, squircle. Now let's change the shape of the most popular tag using the badge class. I add corner shape, scoop, but at first you won't see any change. Feel free to comment below why that happens. That's because corner shape works only when border radius is applied, so I then add border radius, 20 pixels. As you can see, the tag now looks great with just one extra line. Next, I update all the buttons by adding corner shape, scoop inside the BTN class. Since border radius is already set in the style.css file. Now let's create a blinking star animation. Inside the BTN primary, after pseudo element, I add empty content, set the width and height to 20 pixels, use display, inline block, apply border radius, 50%, and add a background color with a box shadow. Next, I add a hover effect. 
on the after pseudo element with a new background and box shadow, and at this point, you can see a simple round shape. To turn the circle into a star shape, I use corner shape, scoop, and now the star appears on hover. To animate it, I apply an animation called Star Twinkle with a duration of 1.2 seconds, ease in out, and infinite iterations. On hover, I make the animation faster by changing the duration to 0.8 seconds. Then I define the at keyframes star twinkle. At 0%, the opacity is 0.3, the transform is scale 0.7 and rotate 0 degrees, with border radius 50% and corner shape scoop. At 25%, the opacity is 1 and the transform is scale 1 and rotate 15 degrees. At 50%, the opacity is 0.6. The transform is scale 0.85 and rotate negative 10 degrees, with border radius 0.8 rem and corner shape notch. At 75%, the opacity is 1 with scale 1.05 and rotate 20 degrees, and at 100%, it returns to the initial state. The blinking star animation works perfectly. You can see the awesome blinking star animation working, and because the hover state uses a faster duration, the animation speeds up when you hover over the button. And that's it. An awesome card design with a blinking star animation created using one powerful property, corner shape.